today's video is going to be centered around version 13 of my 3D printed speaker. This particular speaker um, has been printed in mostly PETG. The surround is actually printed in VarioSure TPU. The cone and the coil were printed in vase mode. The plates were provided by PCBWay. Um, they were machined and all, um, all of that. The ring magnet is a N42 neodymium magnet. The speaker utilizes an underhung design, which means that the actual coil is smaller than the top plate on the magnet. This particular driver is 4.75 inches from center to center of the surround. It still maintains the same flat spring design that we see in um, all the previous speakers that I've done. The box itself is a sealed box design. I didn't see a need for ports or anything like that to make this a woofer or to kind of tune it for any particular sound. The coil itself is made with 34 gauge wire. Also on this speaker, there is a screw design now incorporated for the motor. So the motor is all encased inside of a basically a large screw and it then can screw into the body of the speaker. It also allows for quicker assembly and it allows for more modular ability in the future for any kind of design changes that I may need. So yeah, um, we'll get to some play testing. Okay, now that we've seen it play, let's move on to a little time lapse of some 3D printing. And from there, we'll move to the REW and the DAT system to look at some technical data. But before that, a quick message about today's sponsor, PCBWay. Today's sponsor is PCBWay, the ultimate destination for custom prototype services, including 3D printing, CNC machining, and PCB manufacturing. Enjoy a special offer of $5 off your first order. As a first time user, get single or dual layer PCBs up to 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters in quantities of up to 10, starting at only $0. You only pay the shipping and handling charges. Experience exceptional quality and outstanding customer service, as I personally recommend PCB Way for bringing your ideas to life. Visit PCBWay.com today. And now, back to the 3D printing montage. Okay, 
Now that the printing's done, I want to just cover a few more technical aspects of the speaker before we get into the charts and graphs. So we'll go to that real quick and then on to charts and graphs. What we have here is um, a 30 millimeter coil and a 40 millimeter coil. And the reason I went with a 40 millimeter coil is as we see, it actually is a lot less distance here. And since I went with an underhung design, which means that the top plate of the magnet here has to be larger than the coil. And so this larger diameter coil gives me more room up and down. As you see this one here, you can only move this much, but with this one you could move about two millimeters more. The difference between underhung and overhung is this is an underhung, which is the design that I'm currently using. As you can see, the top plate of the uh, motor assembly is larger than the coil assembly here. So that allows this to stay fully engaged with the top plate on the motor at all times when it moves up and down. More traditionally, though, is an overhung design in which the coils of the um, cone or former is actually larger than the top plate of the magnet and so you only get partial engagement of the coils but then you always get the same number of engagement throughout them and you usually end up with a longer throw this way as you can come clear down to here and clear back up to here and it doesn't take as much magnet to saturate this metal e either so you get a much cheaper design by going with the underhung or with the overhung design like shown here it's a much cheaper design and that's why most speaker manufacturers go with the overhung design while on the topic of motors i just wanted to touch on this femm software it's the first time i've used a simulation software to actually simulate the magnetic field throughout the motor and so i just wanted to show the output of the motor that's used in this speaker so the simulation is showing that the voice coil, which is a small rectangular thing in the gap there, is being ex is experiencing just about one tesla of energy from the ma the motor in magnetic force. So now we'll move on to REW and the DAT system to look at the graphs. We're in REW here. We can see the version 13 speaker versus versus the version 12 speaker. Red is the version 13, green is the version 12. They both have the same input of 0.5 volts red at the amplifier from the same amplifier, running the same um, pink noise simulation in REW. So this is a pretty apples to apples comparison of at least the two speakers compared to each other. And we can see that this new speaker outperforms it in almost every single spot except this tiny little area right up here around 9000 hertz but other than that it's it feels like it's a much flatter response and it's definitely a much louder response and i believe that's a lot to do with the underhung design so now we're in dats and this is the first version of version 13 that i tested i don't actually i didn't actually record the next one up but it actually was coming in around 86 87 on the spl up here for one watt at one meter for that after i kind of moved the coil down just a touch and centered things up a little better um, just kind of tweaking things around i have that screw adjustment i can do on the motor now too to adjust where it sits on the coil so after just adjusting a few things and then after a good probably 30 minute break in period, this did move up to closer to, like I said, 86, 87. I'll see if I can have a screenshot that I can throw up here for that one. Um, but yeah, this is the um, feel small parameters for this speaker. Um, resonant frequency sitting right around 121 hertz. The moving mass, according to this, is sitting around 3.257 grams. I don't know how much I believe that. Um, the resistance inside the coil is approximately 4.24 ohms. And it is a 4.75 inch piston, which is measured from center of surround to center of surround. 
Last up, I just wanted to show the weight of each individual part as I thought that measurement was a little off. It turns out that it's about 15.6 grams of total moving mass. That about wraps up the video. Um, I hope you guys like the new format. It's kind of been hard putting things together and like rearranging the way that I do things. So if this video is not entirely perfect, um, I'm very truly sorry, but um, I'm really trying to work to get this format more down to a science and how I record things as this has kind of really changed the way that I record these videos as I did them more linearly before and I would just record as I went along the progress of each speaker. Now I'm getting to the point where I'm having to record a lot of things and kind of mix mash them and go back and record more things and then sometimes I forget things and so hopefully this turned out okay. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. Have a good one.